I was recently invited down to the Capcom offices to check out their new IP, Kanitsugame Path of the Goddess. This is an action strategy game where you can control one character and free roam, hack and slash yourself. You can also control the NPCs that you cleanse in each level, these are called villagers and you give them special abilities. Our main goal is to get Yoshiro to the Tori gates at the end of each level and you carve a path with the orbs that you have received as you have been cleansing the village. We collect these orbs by cleansing the village like so then upgrade the characters as well as use the orbs for the path as we saw earlier. This character here we're going to give him the woodcutter ability. I got to see the archer ability later on in my playthrough. As you progress through the levels you will have more abilities, more roles to equip as well. This game is played in two parts, a daytime and nighttime. So we set everything up during the day and we also position our characters during the day as well and we wait for sunbreak. Now once it hits sunbreak we get a little animation like that as the monsters called Seath come through the gate. We are free roaming here with hacking and slashing our way with our character which I think was absolutely awesome, it's one of the selling points for me but also before it became sunbreak we had to position our characters so we made some archers here so we've got an archer that i'm going to put at the back here and then we've got two more archers at the front we're going to position these near the gate with each level this is something you'd have to think about but also you can change these on the fly during battle so one on the right put another one on the left one woodcutter as you saw earlier we're going to put the woodcutter in front there we've got a three pronged attack as well as our own character that we're controlling and we can hack attack use our abilities as we're slashing our way but we've also got the npc villagers archer the woodcutter they're all attacking the ground and airborne enemies once that is over take yoshiro to the tori gate if you've completed every objective in the map and you're just waiting for Yashiro to get to the gate, you've got the ability to fast forward time. So we've just fast forwarded her and she has reached the gate. My initial thoughts on this game was it was really easy to pick up, the tutorials were very very understanding. I feel like I'm going to have a great time streaming this for my community. Thank you so much Capcom for allowing me to see Kanitsugame Path of the Goddess first hand before it's released on the 19th of July.